my shorties at? I have some good news from science. We shorties are better than everyone else, especially the tall ones. That's all you need to know. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. You know, short guys take a lot of crap. One of my best friends growing up was about the same height as me, 5'2", and was bullied constantly for it. For ladies, it's reverse, right? If you're too tall, you're more likely to be the target of teasing and bullying. Height is one of many gender roles that we have here in the Western world, and if you ask me, that's friggin' stupid because people come in all sizes and we have literally no control over our height. Didn't they ever read Dr. Seuss? A person's a person no matter how small or large. And for the record, short people can get around all quick like and do some real damage so I'm just saying shortness is the bomb don't believe me I'll let the science do the talking then a whopping 40 year long study recently published in PLOS one monitored over 8,000 Japanese American men throughout their lifetime and they found that being short means living a longer life. The scientists found with great consistency that the taller the man, the shorter his life. Those under 5'2 live the longest. So why do short guys live longer? It all comes down to a gene, FOXO3, which is responsible for a smaller body size and is also responsible for longevity. The two go hand in hand, genetically speaking. Scientists also found that the short guys were less likely to get cancer and to have lower blood insulin. It's good news for my fellow shorties and this isn't the first study to come to this conclusion. Another study done in 2012 on another other isolated population of men found that the shortest in the group lived about two years longer on average. Having a sample that comes from the same cultural and genetic background is really great from a scientific perspective because it eliminates a lot of the other variables that could come into play and affect their results. These findings have also surfaced in studies of short women, although the studies on women were related to different genes involved in the regulation of human growth hormone. Across other animal species like mice, flies, roundworms, the same or a very similar gene has also been linked with a longer life. It's interesting because it offer some perspective on the whole nature versus nurture question about living a long life. It may be less in our control than we think, but as if they saw the tidal wave of junk food and sitting around coming in the distance, the scientists did tell the press that a healthy lifestyle also goes a very long way toward living a long life. All right, folks, how tall are you? And have you ever been teased for your height? Tell me your stories down below and stay tuned for our next D News update.